Guys, the last video blew up. I say we make another one. I'm down. I'm not. Why not, Donald? These are fun to make and they make people laugh. Fuck laughter, Barry. The last video got over 180K views and we didn't get a single penny. That's just how the system works, Don. Barack, I need more money. Trump, why are you so concerned with getting money? Joe, have you seen the news recently? My lawyers don't come cheap. Damn fair point. They're still letting you make Discord calls while arrested? Of course! I'm Big Daddy T. I can do whatever the hell I want. Heck, they couldn't even handcuff me because my hands are so big. Don't think that's the reason, Don. Back to the issue at hand, though. How about you do this video with us? I'm sure we can hit at least 5K subs and also be able to make some cheddar. Fine. I got nothing better to do this afternoon anyway. But we better hit that 5K subscription, or else I'm not doing another one of these. That's reasonable. Viewers, if you liked our past two vids and want to see more in the future, please subscribe. These videos do take a lot of work, and right now, Trump needs some help. That a good enough pitch for you, Trump? I would have done it better, but sure. Who are we ranking today? I want to do a Spielberg list. Yo, that man has made like a million movies, and I've only seen 75% of them. That's an L on you, Trump. A true fan would have seen all his work. I say we do Fincher. That's a solid idea, Barack. Get that list up. Fine, let's do this list then. Okay, up first, his directorial debut, Alien 3. To be fair to Fincher, I say we rank the extended cut, since it is the superior film. Can't lie, I actually like this movie. While it's nowhere near as good as the first two movies, it's still an enjoyable watch. Only if you're a suicidal edge lord. here comes Joe in full swing. It's not that depressing, Joe. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. You just hate that they killed off Newt. Fuck yeah, I do. She was my favorite character. Oh, I wonder why. Get raped in prison, Trump. I'm not into kids, and even if I was, she's not my type. Yeah, that's totally reassuring. Well, there goes any hope of this video getting monetized. She's what gave true meaning to Ripley's journey in Aliens, and they killed her off like a fucking red shirt. And do they stop there? No. They do a fucking autopsy on her in front of the audience. It's like Fincher was purposefully going, ha ha, you don't like that, do you? Well, tough shit, I'm the director and I'm going to make you watch it. The whole movie has such a cynical tone and you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say it. Fincher is the most overrated director in movie history. Oh my God, Joe. How is this guy running the country? For real, Joe, how can you be a president and have such shit takes? It's not a shit take, it's the truth. His style is cold, cynical, and callous. He's only made three great movies, and even the ones I like feel like they were made with obsession instead of love. I appreciate your reference to the menu, Joe, but take a fucking chill pill before you have a heart attack. We haven't even gotten through his first movie yet. Yeah, for real, Joe. Just give us your ranking. If I'm being generous and objective, I'll give it a C tier. In retrospect, it's not nearly the worst Alien movie, and I can't deny its fantastic production design. Can't believe I'm saying this, but that's a fair take, Joe. I'd personally give it a low B tier. Weird, I'd personally give it an A tier. What? Really? I liked how they evolved the xenomorphs. The cinematography was excellent. It had great atmosphere, and I appreciated how they didn't kill off my boy Charles Dutton until the very end of the movie. Fair enough, I guess. Okay, we got an A, B, and C. Should we just split the difference and go B? Sure, this list is fucked anyway. I'll live with B tier. Next is a classic seven. Too dark, D tier. God, Joe, you're such a prude. I am not. This movie is the biggest we live in a society movie ever made. And unlike Joker, it doesn't even address any reasons as to why society turns to the seven deadly sins. It's just like, well, humans are bad, this city sucks, there's no way to change it. It's such a juvenile edgelord perspective of the complexities of life. Solid critique, Joe, but if you have nothing positive to say about these movies, please just keep quiet unless you're giving your ranking. Your constant shit-talking is going to get you blasted in the comment section. Bring the hate, you Fincher fuckboys. I get off on your hate. That explains a lot about your presidency. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, this movie is S-tier. Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt have excellent chemistry, and the mystery is amazing. Do I need to say anything more? No, you don't, Barack. It's a neo-noir classic, and the ending is truly one for the ages. Put it in S-tier, and let's move on to his most underrated work. Ah, yes, The Game. While I like this less than Alien 3, it's still such a fun time to watch. This movie was good until the ending. How the fuck did Conrad know Nick would shoot him? It's because of the tests, Joe. Those tests were complete bullshit. Conrad made him take those just to fuck with him. There was never a CRS company to begin with. It doesn't matter, Joe. The movie is suspenseful and you never knew how it was going to end. Besides a few plot holes, you have to acknowledge its entertainment value. You're right. It was a fun time. I'm in no rush to watch it again, though. I'm fine with putting it in B tier. Same. While it's in no way a B movie, in comparison to his other work, it is B tier. I was going to say the same, actually. B tier it is, then. Joe, I know you hate this movie, so be quiet while Trump and I rank Fight Club. I actually really enjoy this movie. Really? No! It's overrated to high hell, and I hate how every douchebag college film buff has its poster on their wall. God, the comment section is going to be butthurt over that one. Cringe frat boys aside, though, this movie is a classic. Hard facts, Barack. Plus, the ending song introduced a whole new audience to the Pixies. Yeah, that ending song was a banger. 
So you wanted an S tier Trump? Damn straight, fam. Okay, now on to Panic Room. Pretty easy to say this is a B tier. Wait, Fincher directed this? I fucking love this movie. Give it an S tier. Hell no, Joe. This movie is in no way, shape, or form anywhere close to S tier. I'll be generous and give it a C. Trump, that's the biggest L opinion since the repeal of Roe v. Wade. I think you're just mad fewer innocent brown children are being murdered, Barack. Remind me who loves the NRA again, Trump. Guys, shut up or else our viewers will start making retarded political conversations. Oof, yeah. Good point, Joe. Trump, why don't you like this movie? It's an overly produced and unimaginative reimagining of the classic thriller, Wait Until Dark. Never heard of it. Oh, yeah, I remember that movie. That's the one with Audrey Hepburn. Yes, it is. Good to see you can remember that far back, Joe. Yeah, that was a great movie, but I actually feel Panic Room did it better. Joe, I just lost all respect for you again. It was more suspenseful, intense, better shot, and besides the lack of Hepburn, it had a better cast. Wait Until Dark is a better movie, Joe. It's far more subtle, and Hepburn's character is even more at risk because of her character's recent blindness. Man, I'm really going to have to check this movie out. Until then, though, I'm going to side more with Joe and give it an A tier. The whole cast is amazing, and it's expertly made. I'll accept A tier, Barack. Such horseshit. An A tier it is then. Now on to his undisputed masterpiece, Zodiac. F tier. For fuck's sakes, Joe, how? Joe, why are you being difficult? Because this movie sucks. The damn thing is longer than Lent. It's boring. RDJ is underused in the movie. The movie treats the victims like objects for the plot instead of actual human beings. And I hate how it keeps the killer's legacy alive. I remember those killings. They were terrible, and I honestly don't give a fuck who killed them. I'm just glad they stopped. To continue to hypothesize about who killed them, and by not focusing on their lives, the movie keeps the killer's memory alive and leaves the victims as one thing only. Victims. Damn, Joe, those are actually some really good points. Joe, where the fuck were these good points during your last presidential election? I never needed them. I was running against you, remember? Damn. Sick burn from Joe. Oh, get fucked, you too. I'm still giving the movie S tier. Joe, your perspective, while refreshing, still can't sway me. Besides, I know the douchebags watching this video will switch over to TikTok if I don't. Fucking coward. Gotta give the people what they want, Joe. Up next, Benjamin Button, or as I like to call it, Forrest Gump for old people. B tier. Get Chlamydia Barack. This movie is S tier. Joe, this movie is sappy AF. Besides the cinematography, I wouldn't even consider it a Fincher movie. D tier. Eat my dingleberries, Trump. A director is allowed to make a movie that breaks from their mold every now and again. Spielberg did it with Schindler's List, Tarantino did it with Hollywood, and John Landis did it with an American werewolf in London. If they can get a pass, why can't Fincher? Because all of those movies are actually good. Benjamin Button is a good movie. If you're on your deathbed, maybe. The movie is literally more preachy than God's Not Dead 2. Yeah, you would know about preaching, you cult-leading orange ball of shit. Funny, didn't one of your followers just shoot up a school in Nashville? Yeah, I heard they bought the guns legally from your friend Mike Lindell. Both of you shut up. It's a good movie, but it's nowhere near his best work. We're putting it in B tier, and that's final. Such bullshit. Eat a dick, Muhammad. Okay, what do we think about the social network? It's fine. I thought you would like it more, Joe. Aren't you and Army Hammer best buds? I told you that in confidence, Don. Honestly doesn't surprise me. Anyways, I liked it, but it didn't tell me anything I didn't already know about Zuckerberg. Yeah, that kid's vibe always shouted incel. Facts, Don. Can't believe this got nominated for Best Picture. Same, and I can't believe Toy Story 3 didn't get Best Picture either. I cried when it lost to the King speech. Does B-tier seem right? I'm fine with that. Yeah, that fits. Okay, on to Dragon Tattoo. A-tier. A-tier. Holy shit, we finally agreed on something, thank God. Sad that no one went and saw the movie, though. Truth, Barack. Rooney Mara went full out for that movie, and the fact she didn't win Best Actress was more shameful than Hillary's handling of Benghazi. Truth, I love Meryl Streep, but goddamn, she needs to stop winning Oscars. Amen to that. All right, now time for Gone Girl. S-tier. Damn straight it is. This movie proved what every man secretly knows. Bitches are fucking crazy, and they will ruin your life if they want to. That's a based assessment, Obama. Now, before we talk about Mank, I know there's going to be a bunch of dumbasses in the comment section who are going to ask, where's Mindhunter, House of Cards, and LDR? Those are fucking TV shows. We're only talking about the feature-length movies he's directed, so don't ask. Okay, how do you guys feel about Mank? I loved it. This is what I wanted out of a more heartfelt Fincher. It's not sappy, but you can tell he made it with love. I enjoyed it enough. While it's nowhere as good as Benjamin Button, I like how it's not about serial killers, and I love the black and white cinematography. I was a little underwhelmed, honestly. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I'd give it B tier. I'm sorry, but you're wrong, Barack. The cinematography and dialogue alone make it A tier. Oh, stop simping for Fincher, Don. Obama, I agree with you. Put that Hollywood handjob movie into B tier. B tier it is, then. Oh, whatever. Take off that headset. Oh, wait, hold on one sec, you guys. What is it, Melania? Yes, now stop talking. Really? Damn. Okay. Guys, I have to go. Brandy Love, Bonnie Rotten, and Blair White have all just stopped by for some reason. I need to see what they want and if they possibly be interested in a foursome. Lucky bastard, have fun. Will do. 
That's totally a trap. Oh, no doubt. That is hidden wire written all over it. Preach. By the way, are you really buds with Army Hammer? Uh, my wife is calling me. Catch you later, Barack. God, I have the weirdest fucking friends. Hello, America. Thank you for getting all the way to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button. By the way, today I want to do something nice and promote two videos that have been out for a long while and that have never gotten the views they deserved. One is about a black stop motion pigeon named Vincent and the other one is about a very sensitive Scooby-Doo. Don't worry, it's funny, unlike the Velma TV show. I'll have links for them in the comments section below. And as always, have a very nice day.